हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार सो लेट्स सॉल्व वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फूरियर सीरीज सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड द हाफ रेंज साइन सीरीज ऑफ एफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू एक्स फ्रॉम एक्स वैरिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज हाफ रेंज साइन सीरीज हाफ रेंज फूरियर साइन सीरीज इज हाफ रेंज साइन सीरीज ओके सो इट इज गिवेन बाय एफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू समेशन एन इक्वल्स टू वन to infinity b n sin n by x by n where b n can be calculated by integral 2 by l and this is from 0 to l एफ एक्स साइन एन पाई एक्स बाय एन लेट्स एन द डी एक्स सो दिस इज द हाफ रेंज एंड दिस इज फ्रॉम एक्स इक्वल x from varies from zero to n. Then you have to write this like this. Okay. So let's apply this in this question. We have f x equals to x, and we have l equals to two. If you compare it from zero to l, zero to two is there. So you are getting l equals to two here, and your f x here is. uh x so we can write the half range fourier sine series as okay so x equals to fx which is also equal to x so X equals to what will be there? Uh, first of all, calculate B n. Then we'll write the series. So, what is your B n? B n here will be two by L integral zero to L f x, which is x into Sine n by x divided by l, and because here l is two, so we can replace that two both the places. Everywhere we should replace that by. Two dx. So outside we are having two by two, which is one. So b n equals to uh, using integration by part, taking this as the first function and this as the second function. So first function as it is, integration of sine is minus cos. n by x divided by two, and this will be divided by coefficient of x, which is n pi by two. Minus integration of derivative of x is one. Integration of sine will again give you cos n pi. 
x by 2 and again you have to integrate and this is from 0 to 2 so you are getting your bn as uh, minus 2n pi x divided by 2 multiplied by cos n pi x divided by 2 integration of cos is sine so sine n pi x divided by 2 and this is divided by coefficient of x which is n uh, wait uh, one minute uh, derivative of x is 1 integration of sine was minus cos divided by n pi by 2 was also there and again here if you integrate cos again this will be sin this divided by one more so this will become n square pi square by 4 varying from 0 to 3. okay so um, this 2 will not be there here in denominator 2 divided by this will be this will be minus 2x divided by n pi now if I start putting the limits when I put the upper limit which is u2 in place of x so I will get minus 4 divided by n pi and uh, here if you put x as 2, 2, 2 will get cancelled cos n pi. So cos n pi is minus 1 power n. Okay. So if I write this, so bn equals to, when I put the upper limit, I am getting minus 4 divided by n pi. This uh, will give me cos n pi which is minus 1 power n and when you put 2 here you are going to get uh, 2 2 cancel sin n pi sin n pi is 0 so divided by nothing no doesn't make any sense this was upper limit minus if you put the lower limit uh, then here it is 0 0 into this is 0 and here again it is 0 so you are getting 0 so better not write that So we are getting this only as bn. Now final uh, expansion will be fx equals to summation n equals to 1 to infinity bn sin n pi x by 2. So final expression fx which is also x here will be what is that summation n equals to 1 to infinity bn which came out to be uh, from here I can take minus 4 by pi out so minus 1 power n divided by n minus 4 by pi out and with that I will get sin n pi x divided by fine now I can open this also so x equals to minus 4 by pi outside when you put n equals to 1 this will be 
माइनस ऑफ साइन पाई एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू वेन यू पुट एन इक्वल्स टू टू यू विल गेट दिस विल बी वन दिस टू विल बी देर सो यू कैन राइट दैट एज प्लस साइन टू पाई एक्स एंड टू पाई एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू सो दैट विल सिंपली बी टू पाई एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू सो साइन पाई एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई दिस वन बाई टू सो टू हेयर इन द प्रीवियस टर्म दिस विल बी so when you put n as 1 so minus 1 by 1 so you get minus 1 from there so minus sin sin angle inside is uh, 2 pi x divide uh, n is 1 so pi x divided by 2 here it is 2 pi x divided by 2 so simply pi x will be there and here this is divided by 2 in third term you will get 3 in denominator and sin 3 pi x divided by plus you can write this up to me so this is your series the half range sine series for fx equals to x from x varying from 0 to 2 okay so the basic idea uh, it, i was a bit slow because the pen was lagging so fx equals to summation n equals to 1 to infinity bn sin n pi x by n bn can be evaluated by using this formula rest everything was easy we use integration by part that's it I hope you understood this do watch my playlist on Fourier series thanks and have a nice day